So you never ever want to be the big fish in the pond. What do I mean by that? How are you ever going to grow? If you will go work out in a, with a group of friends and you're the strongest one there, the most jacked one there, how are you ever going to get more jacked and push? When you were a baby and you couldn't walk, you watching everybody walking around, you start learning how to crawl. You start, you, you went and took your footsteps and fell in front of everybody. You didn't care. You were innocent, clean. But as you grow older, as an adult, we lose that. You never want to be in the group of people where you make the most money. How are you ever going to grow? You're going to become stagnant like water. When water's still and doesn't move, it's not necessarily water anymore. It becomes stagnant. Issues start to form in the water, bacteria and all these things. It's unsafe to drink. It's made to be flowing, right? You never, ever want to be the big fish in the pond. Be the small fish in the pond. Be, feel uncomfortable. Get used to feeling uncomfortable. Sometimes people feel uncomfortable. Like I've been posting a lot. I have a friend, someone dropped a comment on this video. And my friend, he's lost like 70 pounds. He's super jacked now. And somebody commented under his post and they were like, man, I liked you when you were fat. Like the way you were before, you were more humble. And you got to understand, before he didn't post, he didn't share his wins. So how would you like him before if he was more really obese before? He wasn't gonna make it a 40 years old before. You see, when people see you win and you share those wins, we're sharing those wins. I make these videos to motivate and inspire that 1% that do wanna elevate their life, do wanna get in shape, do wanna live and not waste the opportunity and the gift that they've been given by creation. A lot of, a lot of people will get offended. They lost what they had when they were a baby, always wanted to learn. They developed an ego. You see, the wise person will learn from everyone else around them and from their experiences. And I hate to say it, but the dumb people, they always got all the answers. And the hate, it never comes from above, always from below. So a lot of people always say it, they wanna pull you back into their reality. They liked you the way you were before, but those comments and the way they feel, it says more about them than about you. The most selfish thing that you could do is not share your wins. A lot of people make money or they're successful or they, or they achieve things and they hide it. They keep it to themselves when there's other people that could benefit from it, that could learn. Yeah, you're gonna get a lot of hate. You can't get love without hate. It's the way the world works. There's no darkness, right? If there was no light, how would there be darkness? No light without darkness, vice versa. You're gonna get hate. You're gonna get, I, you should see the comments and the, and the messages I get on social media. A lot of hate, usually from people that don't post at all. They don't put ha even have a photo on their profile. But the people that do work out, the people that are do push in life, they do want a business or they have a successful business, whatever they're doing, I never get hate from those people. What a coincidence that the people that are exceeding in life are pursuing the path of excellence. They seem to not hate on other people that are on that same path. It's always from somebody else that has given up on their life, given up on their health, or given up on, on everything else, everything, everything they have going in general. So you never, listen to me, you never want to be that big fish in the pond. I prefer to be the small fish in the pond. I, I, I excel, I've paid money to go to masterminds. I've gotten around groups and people that were doing better than me because there, it is true what they say, the power of association. When you're around people that are doing better than you in different areas, you, it, can, it, can, it only rubs off, right? But bring them value at the same time. Talk, you know, they're, because if they're big fish, why would they want to be around you? Hence, I've paid for masterminds or whatnot. And, um, but bring them value. There's, there's something that you exceed them at that you can bring them value. And then in exchange, they'll bring you value in other areas that you need help in. And that's how you grow. That's how you elevate in life. So don't feel, don't feel uncomfortable. It's not that we're cocky. I'd rather be cocky or come off as cocky than to be humble and out of shape and not have any confidence at all. If it rubs you the wrong way, man, go back to the way you were when you were a kid. You were moldable. You didn't have all the answers and you're willing to learn. I'll be back tomorrow with another video.